Coral reefs are one of the most important ecosystems on Earth. They protect shorelines, provide valuable habitat for wildlife, and keep the ocean's nutrients in balance. But they're also under threat. Coral reefs around the world are facing overfishing, dynamite fishing, or cyanide fishing, increased sea surface temperatures, and ocean acidification. Physically, a lot of these stressors manifest themselves in color, in um, pieces of coral being broken off, or entire corals just collapsing. For decades, scientists have lacked the fundamental ability of tracking coral reef growth. They've attempted to analyze this through 2D measurements, such as a measurement tape or a rugosity chain, which estimates the 2D structure or surface area with the attempts to extrapolate and understand the bigger 3D structures. But they're all very antiquated and they're all very imprecise. In the last couple of years, uh, hardware devices that enable us to capture the analog world around us and then digitize it to bring it in computers have become so ubiquitous that we realize many new professionals can actually leverage these technologies to push their professions to the limits. So I started working on a software that will make high quality results from any type of capture, be it photos or scans, but it is designed uh, with scientists and curators and artists in mind who do not have experience in a 3D, geeky digital world. To create these models, essentially every feature we want to show up in the 3D model has to be captured. You take a picture, usually about every five degrees, and almost like with a paintbrush, just make sure you painted it from all corners. After we take the photographs, they're post-processed for color, saturation, and clarity. They're then uploaded to the cloud where we work with new reality capture technology to not only create the mesh, but also produce them for 3D printing and also exporting them for visualizations online. I think the power of this technology of reality capture will be fully realized once it gets in the hands of citizen scientists, people that aren't scientists in their everyday job. Hopefully one day we'll have all of the world's quarries captured so anyone can go online, explore them, interact with them, and ultimately understand them.